Greetings, this is Reporter TV and I'm Nazanna Bzalamu, the news. To the headlines of today's news, government says TPLF Shani Alliance is not a surprise. Fieldman said to visit Ethiopia again. Eleven CSOs under scrutiny for alleged fraudulent activities. Now to the details of the news. The Ethiopian government say that the alliance recently announced between the outlawed Tigray People's Liberation Front TPLF and the Oromo Liberation Front OLF armed group, also known as OLF Shani, is not a surprise. Both declared terrorists by the House of the Federation are said to have reached an agreement to partner in their respective fights against the federal government. Deriba Kumsa, also going by the name Jalmero, told the Associated Press earlier this week that his group is partnering with the TPLF to align their interests. He stated that although they're not currently fighting side by side with TPLF, there's a possibility. Reacting to this alliance at a press briefing on Thursday, spokesperson of the Office of the Prime Minister, Bilane Siyum, said that this alliance is not new or surprising to the government, that while the timing of the public declaration needs examining, the government has been indicating for over two years that TPLF has been using Shane as air and runner for its destructive mission. According to the Associated Press, Jalmero indicated that they have reached to a level of understanding with TPLF to cooperate against the same enemy, especially in military collaboration, which he said would eventually lead to the toppling of Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's administration. He also hinted at other groups that are in talks to join the alliance. In the past, TPLF had iterated that it would partner with all possible local and foreign forces for the fight with the enemy, as Brooke Abdu reports. The U.S. State Department announced earlier on Friday that U.S. President Joe Biden will be sending his special envoy to the Horn of Africa, Jeffrey Feltman, to Ethiopia again in an effort to push for an end to the ongoing war in the northern part of the country. According to the statement issued by the State Department, the special envoy is said to travel to Djibouti, Ethiopia and the United between the 15th and 24th of August 2021, where he will meet with the senior officials of the three countries to discuss opportunities for the United States to promote peace and support the stability and prosperity of the Horn of Africa. Similarly, White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan also stated that the special envoy is set to travel to these countries with a particular emphasis to urge the federal government of Ethiopia and the Tigray People's Liberation Front TPLF to come to the negotiating table to end the conflict between the two, which has now spilled into neighboring regions of Amara and Afar. Sylvian tweeted that months of war have brought immense suffering and division to a great nation that won't be healed through more fighting, as Nam Nashanafi reports. We'll be back after the short commercial. Your television, your radio, your ProWorks Multimedia Lulu. ፕሮዎርክስ ሙልቲሚዲያ የቴሌቪዥን የሬዲዮና የህትመት ማስተዋወቂያዎችን ከመስራት በተጨማሪ ለተለያዩ ኢቨንቶች የቀረጻና የኤዲቲንግ አገልግሎት ይሰጣል። ፕሮዎርክስ ሙልቲሚዲያ ቦሊ መዳንያለም ቤተክርስቲያን ፊት ለፊት አውሎ ቢዝነስ ሴንተር ህንፃ ሰባተኛ ፎቅ ላይ ያገኙናል። ለተጨማሪ መረጃ በስክሪኑ ላይ በሚታዩት የስልክ ቁጥሮች ይደውሉልን። ፕሮዎርክስ ሙልቲሚዲያ we're back from the commercial and to the final news. The Agency for Civil Society Organizations, ACSO, is launching an investigation on 11 civil society organizations, or CSOs, working in different parts of the country for an alleged involvement in illegal activities. Although he refrained from mentioning the names of the CSOs under investigation, Director of the Agency, Jirma Delbo, told the reporter that 11 civil society organizations are under investigation for the alleged violation of rules and regulations. According to the director, measures will be taken if the CSOs are found to have violated the rules of the game and the outcome will be announced to the public soon. 
is to be recalled that the agency temporarily suspended three CSOs. While highlighting the offences of the CSOs, Jimma said that even though the agency warned them to correct their unlawful engagement, the three organisations failed to rectify their flaws, which includes hiring of 60 foreign nationals without work permit in Ethiopia and bringing satellite phones without the approval of the pertinent body. To this end, the agency revealed that it's undergoing a massive scrutiny both on local and international CSOs. When the inspection concludes, the necessary legal measures will be taken against the culprits based on the results of the investigation as Elias Tagen reports. That was all for today. For more information, please visit our website, thereportertepian.com. Thank you for watching.